Welcome back to my corner of the internet, guys. I am the Lucid Dream, and I was not planning on releasing another video today. However, I came across something that I think you might find interesting. First and foremost, thank you to all of my channel members and subscribers. Without you, I would not be here. So as always, every single day, thank you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button. I would surely appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I know you're sitting there thinking, Lucid, why are we talking about affiliate links? This is boring. Stay with me for a couple of minutes because I have a point. So an affiliate link is a hyperlink or a URL that a company is going to give to an influencer, in this case, under an affiliate marketing program. So what that means is that link goes into the description box of the influencer. Whoever clicks on that link will get redirected to the company that they are offering a service or offering a product for. That redirect helps track the traffic that the influencer is providing to the company and also helps track the commission that the influencer is making off of that affiliate link. So affiliate links are actually required to be disclosed by the FTC. That is actually the law. There have been many influencers over the past five, six years that have gotten into some pretty deep trouble for not disclosing paid partnerships and affiliate links. It is the law. You don't mess with the FTC. Oh, man. I just, um, hi, how are you? I just, uh, this officer was harassing people. I am a, uh, I'm a partner with Attorney Shield. Amazing. This officer was, this offer, this officer was harassing people and I was uh, exercising my constitutional rights to, re to record him. And, um, I told him to stop harassing residents and, uh, so this is a clip from a video that LIA released this morning, and the entire video is so very obviously an ad for Attorney Shield, it, it's almost laughable. But him telling that woman that he is a partner of Attorney Shield was not just innocent small talk letting her know that he knew how things went. He was actually trying to very sneakily fulfill the FTC's requirement for disclosure. Now, the problem with this is is the FTC requires transparency, full, complete, clear transparency when it comes to paid promotions, paid ads, affiliate links. If you are going to make money off of it, you have to clearly state that to your audience in one way or another. Just saying you are a partner of something is generally not enough. So when you go down to his description box, you see his attorney shield link. Now, the interesting thing about it is nowhere in his description box does he say that this is a paid affiliate link, that he will make a commission when you click this link. So, okay, it is entirely possible that it is not an affiliate link and it is just a link they gave him to bring someone to the website, right? Except it's not. It is a personal affiliate link. So when you click on any link, all that is is the directions that your computer is getting in order to get you to from point A to point B. So these are the directions for the actual Attorney Shield link. This brings you straight to the Attorney Shield website, right to the front page. Now, if you look at the link that LIA has posted, the trace is gonna be a little bit different. Because not only are there a couple of redirects, if you look at one of the redirects specifically, you see attorneyshield.com slash discount slash LIA. So what that means is that is a personalized link so that Attorney Shield can track how much traffic LIA is bringing to their website and how much to pay him in commission. Because I can only assume he is getting paid per click. Um, I have no idea if that's true. That is a theory. But with regular affiliate marketing and affiliate links, that is a very, very common model is pay per click. So then if you go over to Lackluster's page, Lackluster also has a link. And when you run a trace, very similar. 
uh, it comes up attorneyshield.com slash discount slash lack. So now that we know that they both have affiliate links, they both have discount codes, discount code LIA, discount code LAC, we can go to Lackluster's description box and what we find there is very different than what we see in LIAs. So Lackluster discloses his affiliate link. He says, I receive commissions from featured links on verified purchases at no cost to you. He is telling his subscribers that if they click on any of the links in his description box, he is going to get a commission off of it. He is being transparent about it. Uh, he is telling people use code LAC for 10% off of Attorney Shield, and then he gives his link. When you go to LIA's description box, you're seeing something a little bit different because he not once ever mentions that he is going to get a commission off of his link. His only affiliate link disclosure is specifically for Amazon and says so. The pinned comment to his video today is another advertisement for Attorney Shield. This time he tells people to click his link. So in the pinned comments, he is telling people it is his link. However, he still does not disclose any kind of commission. He does not, as far as I can see, disclose anywhere on his page his paid affiliate link. LIA would definitely not be the only influencer to get in trouble for not disclosing paid affiliations properly. Uh, this has happened multiple times over the past few years, and certain niches are more prone to it than others. This was just a random thing that I noticed this morning as I was doing some more digging into Attorney Shield. And on that note, I do have an update. I have been looking into where these attorneys are coming from for a while now, and I think I have found them. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you Jonathan Easton. Now, other than being an active LinkedIn member, Jonathan is a project manager in a company called Lawflex. So Lawflex is what's called an alternative legal service provider or an ALSP. And it says that he have offices in France and Chile. The website also mentions China and Latin America. I've also seen an article that said they had an office in New York, but I can't confirm it because I can't find it on the website. And it says they have over 1400 highly skilled lawyers. So they say we've embraced new law allowing our clients the freedom of choice as one of the world's fastest growing legal talent sourcing companies with a global footprint. Now, it looks like to me what this actually is, is a staffing company, essentially. Um, so if you need 10 lawyers, they will give you 10 lawyers temporarily. So I couldn't find a whole lot about these guys online. And what I did find, I find kind of interesting especially when they talk about using creative legal solutions, and it makes me wonder how creative they've had to be. So now back to Jonathan Easton. While I'm going through the President's LinkedIn, I am going through the CEO's LinkedIn, I'm going through the Attorney Shield LinkedIn, the one common denominator with all of them is Jonathan Easton. Over and over, he is reposting, he is commenting, he is sharing. And it seems strange because why would an Israeli based project manager for Flex Law be so present on the Attorney Shield LinkedIn? When you go to the announcement from Andy Chance, the president of Attorney Shield, what do you see? You see Jonathan Easton. Now, it is just a theory. But I think it is a pretty good theory, and I have a very, very strong suspicion that when you are reaching out for an attorney, Flex Law is actually who you are reaching. And whether or not that is an actual attorney still remains to be seen. There is not a lot available about Flex Law online. Their website contradicts itself in several places. So I am going to keep digging, but it just kind of goes to show there is absolutely no transparency with Attorney Shield from LIA, not disclosing his affiliate links and his commissions to who they are actually using as legal representation. 
there's still a lot to be seen. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see, and I will catch you on the next one.